Hi, in this video we'll see what a use case diagram is. In software engineering, in business analysis and uh, systems development, uh, use case diagram is used to uh, illustrate the overall picture, the big picture of a system or part of a system. So to illustrate what a use case diagram is and what its co uh, components are, let us assume a real life uh, scenario, of, uh, uh, for example, a car's, uh, car in a fitness inspection in a mechanic shop or a car mechanic shop. Let's say that uh, for car inspection, uh, a customer, a car owner needs to book an appointment first and to, to book that appointment, they need to provide credit card details just in case if the customer uh, or the car owner uh, fails to turn up there is a minimum charge for no show and uh, once they book the appointment they uh, on the uh, booked uh, date and time they come for the car inspection and the mechanic inspects the car and uh, the mechanic might have some assistant mechanics who would help in this uh, inspection process and as an add-on service, they also uh, provide uh, fixing the car. I mean, uh, after inspection, if there are some faults found, uh, the customer might uh, go for fixing the car at that time or they might uh, ask uh, just for the inspection report. However, upon uh, inspection, uh, an inspection report is produced and it's given to the administration uh, of the car mechanic shop uh, from where the owner of the car collects the inspection report and uh, makes the payment. So if this is the scenario, and uh, this is what you see on the screen, uh, which depicts uh, this scenario in the form of a use case diagram. So in this case, uh, the elements of a use case is the system boundary. Here you see the box, this box is the boundary. And we have actors in this case, um, as we were discussing, the car owner is an actor, the customer service uh, representative who deals with the customer is another actor, the mechanic, the assistant mechanic. And here is just a copy of a customer service uh, appearing twice, they are the same. And we also see uh, the ovals, these are called use cases. Altogether, the, the, the whole scenario, the whole diagram is the use case diagram. And all the ovals here are the use cases. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six use cases in this diagram. And uh, we see include and extend, and we also see the lines. These lines are called associations. So use cases are, we can say the sub processes of the whole process, which by itself uh, has a number of steps. For example, the booking appointment might have uh, provide, uh, registering on the website or calling the customer service, giving details and uh, giving car details, customers details and so on. However, because use case diagram provides the big picture of the scenario, not the detailed steps once again, I repeat, uh, not the detailed steps, just the big picture of the whole system or part of the system. So it only gives the summarized view of the system. We uh, Sometimes uh, people make mistakes by including too much detail in use case diagram, which is uh, uh, an error because that is not the purpose of the use case diagram. The use case diagram uh, should not detail all the steps of how the tasks are carried out. It should give only the big picture of the scenario that we see here on the screen. So if we look carefully, we see that we have arranged all the use cases, um, the main one, not the include and extend one, the main one in, in the order they should appear uh, when the task is going on. I mean, first the customer needs to book an appointment and only then the car inspection takes place. And once the car inspection is taking or has taken place, uh, an inspection report could be generated and uh, upon that, uh, the payment could take place. So it is important that we follow the order of this. Um, another example might be if we want to eat rice, we first need to cook rice and then we need to eat rice. So in the use case diagram, we cannot say eat rice first and then cook rice. It should be cook rice, a uh, use case first and then eat rice a use case. However, if we come back here, if we look into book 
appointment we see that the appointment is booked by the customer or the car owner and which is processed by the customer service so only in these two actors are associated as i said these lines are associations only these two actors are associated with this process and if we look here we see that mechanic is not associated because in booking the appointment the mechanic has nothing to do so mechanic should not be associated with this process once again this depends on that scenario this depends on the business case how a uh, how a business is operated there is no hard and fast rule that um, the mechanic cannot be associated it completely depends on how the business is going on in this scenario because the mechanic does not deal with the booking appointment so we we cannot associate them with the book appointment now let's come to the include part this use case provide credit card details is included in book app appointment when we say include we mean this must be a sub process of this of this process in other words without providing credit card details it may not go on so it must be included as part of the booking but can be treated as a separate uh, collection of steps that's why we can put it in a different uh, use case and if we look into inspect car the customer has nothing to do with the ins uh, ins car inspection the mechanic does the inspection so mechanic inspects car and this is important here the assistant mechanic helps them if we look carefully they both are mechanics so they are not different actors we are talking about roles actors not the person so there might be, uh, let's say, Bob and Ellis, a mechanic and assistant mechanic, but they represent a general rule, which is mechanic. So in this case, uh, assistant mechanic is helping mechanic. So they are not a different type of actors here. Rather, they are um, assisting actor in the same category. So when you have this kind of scenario, we call uh, the actor which has direct association with the use case, we call them primary actor and the S the assistant actors for that uh, role we call them secondary actor so in this scenario mechanic is the primary actor and assistant mechanic is the secondary actor in other cases all this uh, all, uh, all the rest to car owner and customer service representative they are primary actors and here we have one more thing which is extent so what is the difference between include and extend? Include, it is part of the process. It, we can just view it as a separate collection of steps, but it must be included. On the other hand, when we say extend, it is a, we can think of it as an option that which could be included, but um, it does not affect the system if that is not included. If you look into this example, the car inspection doesn't have to have uh, uh, the service of fixing car. However, if a customer wants, then they can also ask to fix car. In, in that case, uh, fixed car is an exchange. Uh, while inspection is going on, if mechanic finds uh, some faults, if the customer uh, opted for fixing the car while they were booking appointment, um, then they can fix the car. But if the customer did not ask for fixing the car, then a fixed car is not an essential one wh which must be carried out by the mechanics. So in this case, uh, fixing car, this use case is an exchange. In other words, we can say it's an option. So once again, when this inspection is done, the inspection report is uh, given by the mechanic to the customer service uh, re representative. So. Uh, this use case associates also a customer service we see the association so once that's done the inspection report is given delivered to the customer which uh, where mechanic has nothing to do because they have already given it to the customer service and the customer service is now um, forwarding it to the uh, customer or the car owner and upon that the customer makes payment which is processed by the customer service representative so this use case has association with these two actors car owner and customer service 
So this is how we can uh, develop a use case diagram uh, to understand the big picture of a system. And there is no specific right and wrong solution. Um, different people might come up with a slightly variated version of uh, uh, as a solution uh, in, uh, in the form of use case for the same system. Some might be a bit more efficient, some might be a bit less efficient, but there is no completely right or wrong answer. It completely depends. It uh, depends on how the system is being operated. Thank you.